Welcome to the Tao's machine translation and Moses tutorial. A research on machine translation has revealed that quality evaluation is one of the most challenging and subjective tasks. In this module, we give a brief overview of existing methods of machine translation evaluation and present the most popular automatic metrics for evaluating the machine translation quality output. There are two approaches to evaluate machine translation output human and automated. Despite it being costly and time-consuming, human evaluation of machine translation output still remains the most reliable methods to assess translation quality in production environments. Automatic evaluation methods are typically used in the development process to guide the fine-tuning and intermediate assessment of machine translation systems. Human evaluation is used to assess the final quality of a translation. Despite the lack of robustness of automatic evaluation measures, they do possess some positive characteristics. For example, automatic scores are virtually costless, they are reusable and they are objective in the sense that they are not dependent on the perception or tiredness of evaluators. For the reminder of the module, I concentrate on automatic metrics. There is a separate module dedicated to human evaluation. Automatic metrics are used in the majority of modern machine translation systems. The main reason for that is that they are cost-effective in comparison with human evaluation. Automatic metrics integrated into translation training framework accelerate development of machine translation systems to aid error analysis, machine translation engine optimization, and comparison of machine translation systems. Automatic or semi-automatic error analysis carried out during post-editing or during the fine-tuning of statistical machine translation systems is a popular method to estimate the quality of the produced translation. For example, word uh, error rate-based metrics can be helpful to detect word error order errors, while metrics based on distance between generated and reference translations can be used to automatically distinguish incorrect translations from correct parts. System optimization usually consists of uh, the fine-tuning of model weights involved in the translation process and is a desirable step for many of domain-specific machine translation applications. Human involvement at this stage is very problematic as many iterations are required during the optimization process. For this reason, a single or a combination of several automatic metrics are used as a set of tools to optimize the machine translation system. The best practice is to use automatic metrics to compare the outputs of statistical machine translation systems in a fast, objective and economic way. Human evaluators can then verify the quality of the best systems. There are several automatic measures used today. A selection of robust and consistent evaluation criteria is uh, of crucial importance as machine translation systems are normally trained to optimize using one or more automatic evaluation measures. In the next few slides, I present blue, the most popular automatic score. I also touch on the other popular metrics used in academia and industry. The blue, that means bilingual evaluation understudy, was introduced by IBM in 2002. The main idea behind blue is the closer a machine translation is to a professional human translation, the better it is. While Blue is criticized within academic and industrial machine translation communities, because in some cases it doesn't show good correlation with human judgment, it is still a de facto standard evaluation metric for many machine translation applications. This is probably due to its simplicity, universality and speed. Blue performs surface word matching without considering linguistic information in the evaluation process. The blue score is calculated by producing a similarity measure between the translation hypothesis and one or more human-made reference translations, which represents the expected solution of the system. Blue ranks a good translation higher or lower depending on two measures. The first measure is adequacy. This is a judgment on how much of the information from the original translation is expressed in the translation by looking at a value called word precision. Word precision is the ratio between the number of correctly translated and placed engrams, which are a contiguous sequence of words from a text, to the total number of engrams in the output of the machine translation system. 
The second measure Blue considers is fluency. This indicates how natural the hypothesis sounds to a native speaker of the target language and is estimated by calculating a so-called n-gram precision, which is the number of n-grams from any reference sentences that are found in the translated sentence. Blue is mainly a precision metric, recall which is the ratio between the number of correctly translated words to the total words in the reference is only taken into account in a very simple way by considering syntax length. This means that long sentences are penalized and short sentences tend to be marked up. For this reason, a brevity penalty component was introduced to Blue. The idea is that if a candidate receives a high score, then it must match the reference and length in word choice and in word order. If the candidate and reference translations are of approximately the same length, a translation must produce the same words in roughly the same order as the references in order to obtain a high precision score. Blue score calculates the geometric mean of the precision of n-grams from 1 to 4, uh, this number refers to the blue order, between a hypothesis and a set of reference translations. Blue ranges between 0 and 100%. Blue can often unnecessarily penalize syntactically valid but slightly altered translations with low n-gram matches. It is specifically designed to perform the evaluation on a corpus level and can perform badly if used over isolated sentences since it calculates an aggregate score of a large test set. This is a major flaw. Although, as I have already stated, blue and other automated metrics are useful when applied in the right context. One of the implementations of the blue metric is a NIST evaluation script that is available as a part of the Moses code. There are requirements and recommendations for the evaluation process. Test dataset shouldn't be less than 1,000 sentences. However, a general recommendation is to perform an evaluation using no less than 2,000 parallel sentences. One or more human reference translations are required. Reference file and system output have to be tokenized and sentence aligned. If multiple reference translations exist, these have to be stored in separate files. If you haven't already, study the data section of the Moses tutorial for models on tokenization and alignment. For an in-domain evaluation, the project-specific samples covering the same topic as the training data or an extraction from the training corpus can be suitable for evaluation. Don't forget to remove the sentences used for evaluation and system optimization from the training corpus, as the overlap can cause a serious misinterpretation of the final scores. With the multi-blue script or other blue implementation, you can compare different empty systems to one other, assuming no ideal correlation with human evaluation. So you can integrate it to the optimization cycle and to compare different iterations of Moses or any other statistical machine translation system. Remember, blue cannot be found uh, as a tuning metric for different languages, the highest blue score must be interpreted as an improved translation. The final blue score depends on many factors influencing the translation process. Detailed knowledge of the test data set and settings of the machine translation engine are essential for a meaningful interpretation of the blue score. Blue shouldn't be compared across language pairs and domains and shouldn't be taken, taken as an absolute number. Here are some other metrics used for empty evaluation. Some of these make use of linguistic information, others measure similarity like distance between machine translation output and reference translation. A good example of the metrics based on post-editing is translation error rate, TER, introduced in 2006. TER is a metric based on the counting transformations required to reconstruct the reference translation from the empty output while preserving the content of the source. Like many other metrics, there is also a human-targeted variant of TER, HTER. For HTER, the references are created manually with information from the test hypothesis translations, so that differences between a translation and a reference account only for errors. More information on human evaluation metrics are provided in a separate module. GTM is a new metric measuring the similarity between empty output and reference translation. It takes into account the number of adjacent words 
shared by translation hypothesis and reference. Unlike blue, which is mostly a precision metric, GTM accounts for precision and recall, as well as for uh, their harmonic mean. The precision component measures the number of words generated by the empty system that match with words in the reference sentence. This number is divided by the total number of words generated by the empty system. Recall in this case is the ratio between the number of matching words and total number of words in the reference. The meteor, metric for the evaluation of translation and explicit ordering, score is a metric for the evaluation of empty output, which is calculated as an average mean of precision and benefited recall by considering stems and synonyms matching. The metric evaluates a translation by computing a score based on explicit word-to-word -word matches between the translation and a reference translation. If more than one reference translation is available, the given translation is independently score, scored against each reference, and the best score is reported. Meteor must be fine-tuned to achieve maximum correlation with human evaluations for a particular evaluation task, and it's language-dependent. It currently supports 17 languages, including English, Arabic, German, and Russian. Apart from Blue, GTM, Terra, and Meteor, there are many other automatic metrics that have been created in recent years. At the Taos Tracker, a free directory for machine translation, translation memory, and language technology tools, you find listings for 20 or so automated evaluation metrics in the language technology section. I encourage you to share experiences with the accuracy or usefulness of particular automatic metrics by leaving comments in the Taos Tracker. We have reached the end of this module describing the methods of evaluating machine translation systems. In a separate module, we explain approaches to human evaluation of empty output. For other models in this series, please go to the web address shown on this slide. Thank you for your attention.